So this is the heart. This is the aortic arch right here. The first part is the ascending aorta. This is our aortic arch. And then this is our descending thoracic aorta right here. Coming off the aortic arch, you have two vessels. You have the left subclavian artery that continues up, and you have the brachiocephalic artery. The brachiocephalic artery branches into three branches. We've got the left common carotid artery, and then the right common carotid artery. Both of these continue up along either side of the trachea. And then your third branch from the brachiocephalic is your right subclavian artery, which is right here. There's your right subclavian. And you can see the branch right there. Okay, the right subclavian is going to continue out, and when it reaches the axillary region, the armpit, we call it the right axillary artery. And then where it continues further across the arm, we call it the right brachial artery. Same thing on the left side. The left subclavian is going to be called the left axillary in the axillary region. And then where it continues out across the arm, it's going to be left brachial artery right there. Okay, if we continue down, we have got our pulmonary arteries and veins. The red one, here's your pulmonary vein. The blue one, here's your pulmonary artery. These are associated with the lungs. Then the descending thoracic aorta is going to pass through the diaphragm, at which point we call it the descending abdominal aorta. And so here's our descending abdominal aorta coming through the diaphragm right here. It's going to branch. The first branch is called the celiac artery or the celiac trunk. Right there. Either one's right. Either one's right. The celiac trunk is going to branch into three branches. The first branch is the hepatic artery, which is kind of broken on this cat. First one's your hepatic artery. Second is gastric artery, which goes to the stomach. The third branch is the splenic artery. And then notice that the splenic may branch a few times, but it goes over here to the spleen. See how small that spleen is? Okay, if we go back now to the descending abdominal aorta, which is right here, we're going to have another branch, which is this branch right here. This is the anterior mesenteric artery. This is supplying blood to the intestines. All right, next we have the descending abdominal aorta again and it branches into the renal artery and vein and so here's our renal artery going to the kidney this is our kidney and we've also got the adrenal or the adrenal lumbar artery and vein in here. They're not too clear on this cat. That's a vein. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is the descending abdominal aorta again. And then our next branch is this one. This is the posterior mesenteric artery going straight over to the, the large intestine. And then these are the iliolumbar artery and veins. And then here we again have our descending thoracic aorta. And now at this point it's going to branch a couple of times. And this cat looks decent to show this. But you can see the first branch here, this is external iliac artery, left and right. Here's our other one that's broken. Then it continues for a short distance right here. And then we have another branch. The second smaller branch, these are the internal iliac arteries. And then you can see that we have one artery that continues down, and this is our caudal artery. So descending abdominal aorta, left external iliac artery, left internal iliac artery, and then caudal artery right there.
Okay, now if we go over to the veins, we've got our heart again right here. This is our pre-cava. This vein right here is our internal mammary vein that comes up perpendicular. Over here, we have our azygous vein coming down right there. Now, the pre-cava is going to branch into the left brachiocephalic vein, right brachiocephalic vein. The brachiocephalic veins are going to branch into the right external jugular vein, or sorry, left external jugular vein, and left subclavian vein. Now the subclavian vein is going to branch into left axillary vein and left subscapular vein. Now the left axillary vein is going to continue out across the arm where we call it the left brachial vein. And then up here we call it the median cubital vein and this would be the left side. And then we also have our transverse jugular which on this cat appears to be missing but it goes right across here. Now if we go to the inferior side of the heart our posterior, posterior on a cat. This is now our post cava, right there. And so the post cava is going to continue down through the diaphragm. There's our post cava there. And branches into the renal vein, which is right here. There's our renal vein, it's been ripped. What about the adrenal lumbar, where is that again? Well, I'm going to have to find that on a different cat. It's not too clear mm -hmm. on this cat. Actually, on this side, there's your adrenal gland right there. And there's your adrenal lumbar artery, and there's your adrenal lumbar vein. Okay. So that works. Okay, and I can pull that out a little bit more. All right, back over here. This is our adrenal lumbar vein. Now, where the post cava branches its first branch, these two, this is left common iliac vein, right common iliac vein. And then where the, where the common iliacs branch again, we have left external iliac vein and left internal iliac vein. And the iliac vein and artery, they will both continue out across the, the leg, at which point we call them the femoral artery and vein. So there's your femoral artery, femoral vein. And I think that's all of them. This one was the iliolumbar, right? I think we caught it, the adrenal lumbar. This is, oh yes, the iliolumbar right here. Where's the azagus skin? Can you show us?